There's so much going on in the space sector right now. It's really an exciting time. It's really a fluid time. NASA's on what we call the journey to Mars, and it's mm -hmm. not just NASA. We're partnered with countries from all around the world, including the UAE with the Mars mission in 2020. And NASA has a goal of getting humans to Mars by 2033. The exciting thing is, is we've really split it up into a number of kind of achievable steps because I think for some people, they think humans to Mars, you know, surely that's just science fiction. But we really are on a path to make it real. In 2033, the astronauts will get that first view of the red planet out their windows. And what they're going to be doing is actually looking for life because you know, that's really why Mars is the horizon goal because about 3.7, 3.8 billion years ago, Mars actually had lakes, oceans on its surface. The conditions were very similar to the conditions here on Earth when life evolved. So scientifically, there's no reason not to believe that life didn't also evolve on Mars. But then Mars lost its atmosphere, it got cold, and life either went extinct on Mars or life might have retreated underground. We don't want to send humans in where there still could be Mars microbes, because we don't understand what effects those microbes might have on human health, and we certainly don't want to bring them back here to the Earth. So we'll have the astronauts sending rovers into regions where liquid water is close to the surface, doing some analysis, making sure it's actually safe for humans to eventually get down to the surface, which will probably happen in the late 2030s. When you look back at the Apollo program, the investments that were made to push to getting humans to the moon in a decade, led to amazing things in the United States. When you try to do something really technologically challenging, you invest in your economy, you're investing in innovation and in technology, and you really move society forward. And that's why we really want this to be an international partnership. I think we're inspiring that next generation. Again, we had the Apollo generation, the Apollo effect. We talk about kids who are sort of 16 years old and younger. They're the Mars generation. This is the generation that those Mars astronauts are gonna come from. These are the kids to whom, when they grow up, people walking on Mars is gonna be a normal thing. And we need to inspire that generation to be scientists, to be engineers, mathematicians, computer scientists, because they really are the future of the world.